Hi, fantastic teachers. Are you tired of spending endless hours marking papers without making progress? Boost your productivity today with these powerful tips and start seeing results. Say goodbye to the frustration and hello to getting things done efficiently and effectively. Learn how to mark the papers like a pro and take control of your time today. If we learn how to be more productive when marking papers, I see three advantages, three benefits. First, you're going to feel less stressed. Second, you're going to have an increased focus. And the third thing is that then your self-esteem will increase. So let's think about this um, situation that my client presented me with. Um, their papers were due next Friday. And when they thought about those papers, that pile of papers to mark, they were thinking, well, I'm behind. And when they thought I'm behind, then they worried. Worry is an emotion. And what we know about emotion is that they drive actions. In, her, in this case, the worry drove my client to eat candies, spin the thought, I'm behind, I'm behind in, in their head, and not mark papers. And what's really interesting, as always, is that the papers, the date the papers are due next Friday, are not what's actually creating the, the emotion of worry. It's impossible. Papers, I can picture a pile of papers and I can picture the date on the calendar. This physical pile of papers, the date on the calendar cannot make anybody feel worried. Otherwise, everybody in this very same situation, my client included, would always only feel worried, which is not the case. Right? We have plenty of other examples of having exactly the same pile of paper, exactly the same date, not thinking the same thought, not feeling the worry, because here it is. The worry is not coming from the pile of paper or the date on the calendar. The worry can only come from the thought that's in the head. And in that case, the thought was, I'm behind. The thought I'm behind is what's creating the worry. The worry is only coming from the thought in the head, which is, I'm behind, which is an interpretation of the, the date on the calendar and the pile of papers. And once we know that, once we've noticed that, that's the first phase, the second phase is to question, to bring questions to what we think is reality. The third phase being deciding to view reality differently if we want to. So let's go to phase number two, which is questioning. So here are three questions that might help you whenever you're thinking and behind, perhaps about marking your papers for a particular date. The first question could be, what does behind mean, right? What's behind? Who am I behind from, right? The second question is, where do I think I should be right now instead of where I am? Where do I think I should be right now? That's the second question. The third question could be, how do we know that I shouldn't be there right now? Or to phrase it differently, how do we know that I should be where I am right now with perhaps no papers marked and this date on the calendar? I know it's a super tricky question, but it's one of my favorite questions because it's always blown my mind. I know that I shouldn't be anywhere else than where I am today because that's where I am. Each time I think that thought, my worry, my resistance, my rebelliousness immediately dissolves. So that's the second phase, questioning what our brain is offering us. So that's the second phase, questioning what our brain is offering us. And the third phase is actually deciding. 
deciding to view reality a bit differently if we want to. There's no obligation there, but it's an option. So why not explore options just for the fun? And so here are three thoughts you might want to explore when you have this date on the calendar, when you have this pile of papers to mark. And so thought number one could be, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Thought number two could be, I only need to focus on the next paper to mark instead of the whole pile, right? I only need to focus on the next paper to mark. Thought number three could be, I want to feel relieved and free when I'm done. So it's us focusing on the future once it's done. So thought number three, I want to feel relieved and free when I'm done, right? So I hope this video was useful to you whenever you think about marking papers or anything else that you are wanting to do or supposed to do or anything else that's on your calendar, right? Whenever you start thinking, I'm behind, this is what you can do. First, notice the thought, then question the thought, really, what does that mean? <laughs> Where should I be? And how do we know that I should be here? And the third thing is to actually decide on a different thought if you think it's going to help you more, right? Thank you so much for watching this video and maybe share it with somebody else if you think that could help them. When you notice somebody else panicking, worrying about a precise date, maybe that's something that you could send them to. And finally, I really want to invite you to extend the invitation to you if you want to, to what I call the Stress Eating Freedom Call, where we um, explore four mistakes that most people do when they want to stop stress eating. And then what's super fun is that I explain and we apply the proven method that works whenever we have a craving so that we don't give in to temptation. That's super fun. And the third step in that Stop Stress Eating Freedom Call is that we come up with a plan, a plan that's tailored to your needs, that's tailored exactly to your specific cities. And that's also super fun. So if you want to spend one hour with me exploring, explaining, learning new things that you're going to be able to apply immediately, well, come and join me. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.